Hello Active Traders, I'm Ken Calhoun. Welcome to our channel, dedicated to helping you become more successful in your trades. In this episode, we're going to look at my number one favorite day trading pivot play. Instead of trying to buy things that have sold off and trying to bounce, there's another way to trade pivots that you'll be especially keen to learn about. Coming right up. If you're like a lot of my traders and myself, you may have gotten burned by trying to buy something that's dropping and starting to bounce, kind of like a dead cat bounce, Meow. or catching a falling knife, ouch, that hurts. Stop the madness, there's got to be a better way. The number one pivot play for intraday stock day trading is to trade something that is starting to bounce after a gap up that is sold down to the previous day's high or previous day's support as seen in this example in Under Armour UA. My live TradingTheOpen.com room members got my long call at 19.20 and it ran on up a good 50 cents after that. The trick is always to buy strength. So a pre-market gap up is strength, the very best strong chart pattern out there. When it sells back down, especially to the previous day's high, which is why you need to use two day charts so you can see the previous day's open high, low, close, when the, start, when the stock chart sells down to the previous day's high and then starts to pivot, that's the number one pivot play that you can adopt as an active trader. We've all tried the other way. Something sold off at a two day low, it's gapped down, it's selling down sharply and then starts to bounce. We get into the trade only to see it maybe go up a nickel or a dime and then plummet on down to new lows taking out a stop loss. I learned the hard way over doing this the last 20 years. That's not how to trade pivots. The right way is to buy a continuation of pre-existing strength, which is exactly what we do in professional breakout day and swing trading. You buy into previous strength. So th that's why this technique works so well. It's remarkably consistent. Try it for yourself. But look at the chart for UA for today and see the 19.2 long trigger that my live room members got. That's buying pre-existing strength on a bounce, right? The pre-existing strength was the gap up. When it sold down and did a gap fill and closed the gap, found support right above the previous day's high, buyers started to come back in. That's the inflection point or the trigger point, at least that I like to trade pivots. It's not very, it's counterintuitive. It's not very obvious. It's not something you would know to look for unless you've been trading for so many years and tried out so many thousands of different combinations and setups. But a gap up, that fills down to the previous day's high, not earlier, you know, sometimes you'll get a mean reversion pivot, 50% bounce. Uh, that's not as consistent though as something that fills all the way down to the previous day's high and then starts to pivot. That's a very smart, intelligent place to put a pivot trade on, especially for a stock day trade. So I hope this has been of help. Until next time, trade with passion, trade with really tight stops, and trade to make as much money as you can in your active trades. I'll see you next time. Uh, also too, if you have any questions about this strategy, be sure to leave your comment in the area below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, trade smart, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.